Yes, how did the oh. theme tune for Match of the Day come about? <laughs> <laughs> of course, we're talking Bond. And although we all recognise the tune, not many people know the bizarre story of how it came about. Giles Branrith, though, does, and it's a brilliant tale. Ah. From the moment Dr No hit the big screen, <laughs> it wasn't just 007 who grabbed the world's attention. It was the bold and enigmatic tune that accompanied the title sequence. I have been expecting you, viewers. Bond villains may come and go, but the James Bond theme tune has endured for 50 years. <laughs> Everyone knows the tune, but few know who composed it. Monty Norman was a big name in the theater of the 50s and early 60s. His musical about the murderer, Dr. Crippen, was backed by Cubby Broccoli, later producer of the Bond films. Cubby Broccoli rang me and asked me to come to his office to meet his new partner, Harry Saltzman. He said, we've just acquired the rights of Ian Fleming's James Bond novels, and we're going to turn them into films. First one is going to be Dr. No. Would you like to do the score? Did you know the James Bond novels? No, not really. I mean, I'd heard of James Bond, but I'd never read them. Then Harry Saltzman made him an offer he couldn't refuse. He invited Monty and his family to Jamaica, where the film was being made, hoping to inspire him. Well, that was the clincher for me. I don't know whether the James Bond film is going to be a flop or anything, but at least we'd have a sun, sea and sand holiday. Monty was inspired and armed with the script, began to write the score. He needed a bold theme to open the film. So tell me, where did the James Bond theme come from? It came from a musical that Julian Moore and I were writing called A House of Mr. Biswas, based on V.S. Naipaul's novel. Monty's musical, based on the story of an Asian community, featured traditional Indian instruments, but it never made the stage. So I went to my bottom drawer, found this number that I'd always liked, and played it to myself. And I was born with this unlucky sneeze, and what is worse, I came into the world the wrong way round. So it had this very Asian quality. Well, I get the Indian feel, <laughs> but where is James Bond in all that? <laughs> I thought, what would happen if I split the notes? So I went, um... And immediately, the moment I did that, I realised that this was what I was looking for. And the producers agreed. They brought in a new young talent called John Barry to arrange the piece, and both the film and the theme tune were a huge hit. That his name went on to become synonymous with 007, which led many people to think he had composed the theme tune. But Monty's creation had set the tone for Bond. I'd like to send a cable. Yes, of course. His sexiness, his mystery, his ruthlessness, it's all there in a few notes. Good night. Good night, Mr. Bond. And Obviously, the world agrees. And 50 years on, we want to hear Monty's theme on the traditional Indian instruments that inspired it. International sitar player Jonathan Mayer and fellow musicians perform it in the shadow of MI6. Monty Norman wrote this tune yes. and it's conquered the world. How do you feel about that? I'm very proud of it, very proud. I'm happy that it's 50 years on, and I'm happy that I'm still here. There you go. For your ears only, the tune from a composer's bottom drawer that's conquered the world.